So there's a passage that says, but I gotta be straight that many who've got no pain have your same finding. That's the silver lining. It's fact that some will be hiding because the system reaps from your demanding. So the, iro the irony of it all is that these MRI findings that seem abnormal and they're strange sounding names, degenerative disc disease or bulging disc, if you look at the, the actual numbers of people that have no pain, the MRIs of people with no pain have a whole bunch of abnormalities. If you're over 40, forget it. You're not going to have a perfect spine. It's almost impossible. But those people, you know, they don't have pain, but they have abnormalities. Yet when you have pain and you see the abnormalities, you assume that what you see is the cause of your pain. Now, is it possible? Sure. If it's just low back pain and not suddenly you can't use your your leg or you're having problems with peeing or pooping, that if it's just isolated back pain, there's potential that you're seeing things that may not be relevant. So, you know, exploring possibilities without jumping in too quickly to interventions is something that's reasonable. And they say conservative care. If you fail conservative care, what does that mean? And the question is really how much have you explored and how significant is that pain really? Is it keeping you from functioning and doing things? So you have to have the education to not fear the pain and try to find ways to, to make it better. But everyone should know that when you do an MRI, you might find abnormalities, which are actually normal. And the extent of it, or if there's other symptoms, that's, that's more of the question. But the silver lining is those abnormalities can be just normal. So that's what that whole uh, section was about, is that we need to remember that MRI findings can kind of lead us astray. It's like me looking at your brain in an image and knowing or assuming that I can know what your feelings are or what you're thinking. It just, it doesn't tell you that. And when you look at an MRI and you see abnormalities, it doesn't tell me how you function. It doesn't tell me if that's necessarily the con contributor to your pain. So we have to be really uh, careful on how we are swayed to decision-making um, by looking at just imaging.